now we are here to celebrate the next generation. All right. So I've just got some encouraging words for them. But more like for us, I'm, I'm right there with y'all, brothers. I'm right there with y'all. For my brothers and sisters, I'm right there with y'all. Now before we get too deep into the youth and you trying to take over certain positions, I would like to say to the older folks already in their position, we're not here to replace you. We are here to honor and carry on your legacy. Right. We want to make you guys proud Amen. and feel like we can actually handle what you've given us. Amen. Now look, I understand this. I don't care how good I get, I will never be able to replace that man right there. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. I, I love you as a mentor, man. You you showed me so much, you know, when I was a when I was a kid and I come here and I hear you and I was supposed to play and I hear you, I would say, Oh, dude, are you sure they want me to play? I mean he got enough organ chops for both of us right now. I don't think I wanna go up there. But uh I've grown to the point now where I actually got a call from you and he actually invited me to play and for the fill or try and fill his shoes in just a little bit. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Now, to the next generation, to my fellow young men and women, don't be afraid to walk in your purpose. Romans the 8th chapter and 28th verse says, for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. I understand that what you're going through as a young person trying to find his or her way in life may seem hard, but I want you to know that God doesn't give you anything you can't handle. Praise the Lord. Now, it's kind of funny, something for me personally that I find hard is talking to anyone. I'm a, what they call an introvert. I usually keep to myself. So, you know, going from not really wanting to talk to one person to talking to a semi-large group at my home church back in California to talking to a pretty large group in the Chautauqua is a really big step. <laughs> yes. 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 And I only did it twice. And then I just hit me with, hey, how about y'all come to how about you come to the Chautauqua? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> In Philippians, the fourth chapter, 13 verse, it says, I can do all things through yeah. Christ. Yeah. 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 Even if you just do it all, if you just trust me, he will bring you through. Yes. Yeah. See, you must come to understand that people like mom and dad won't always be able to fix everything in your life. That's right. I've had to learn that quite a few times. Yeah. Although what my mother has done, I'm sure grateful for that. I appreciate you. But... For the things that parents, family, or friends can't do, if you trust in God, you will make it over. Yeah. yeah. There's an old song that says, uh, can I get the five in that sharp? Real church. <laughs>
not to be burning. But notice there was a fourth person in there. Hello. He said, I see Shadrach. I see Meshach. Yeah. I see Abednego. 